Hey guys, Sex Competitive here again today. What is up? Uh, but anyways, into the vlog. Uh, today I'm, I'm gonna be talking about X Games. And what about X Games? You may be wondering, or you may have already heard, because this is uh, be coming out a couple days late. You may, you may be like, what? X Games? What? What? What does that have to do with Call of Duty or anything? But it actually, has everything to do with Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty is now going to be playing at the X Games next year, or this current year, or this coming year, or whatever. But yes, they're going to be playing the X Games. But not for prize money or anything. They're actually going to be playing for just medals. You know, gold, silver, bronze. Like, nothing different you've seen in the Olympics. You just say MLG and uh, the X Games come to an agreement about playing there, and there you go. Call of Duty is already considered a sport. Didn't think it'd be considered a sport. Already? I mean, but I mean, it is. It is. It is. But, uh, but, you guys already heard about that, so I didn't want to talk about it too much. So, what else? I want to talk about why. Why? How did this happen? Number one, everybody should be thanking Nate Shot, because this is the huge jump. And, Call of, Duty, Call of Duty's about to have a lot of changes after the X Games takes place and everything. They're going to have a lot more fans. I mean, there's some people that like playing Call of Duty and they've never gotten into into competitive gaming. I mean, they love playing Call of Duty, but just for like just for the fun of it with their friends and buddies, you know, they've never really watched competitive Call of Duty, I mean, esports. And just a lot of people just like sports period, but maybe they know of Call of Duty, but they watch X Games. They're going to be getting into this. This they're going to be getting into Call of Duty, so it's a big jump for Call of Duty. Period. And not only should you be thinking Nate Shot, you should be thinking Black Ops Two. We would not be where we were if it wasn't for Black Ops Two. Nate Shot wouldn't be where he was if it wasn't for Black Ops Two. No professional gamer were would be where they are today if it wasn't for Black Ops Two. It's as simple as that. This is crazy. This is all thanks to Black Ops 2. I mean, Activision, Sledgehammer, all you guys. You guys did a great job. And I wouldn't be where I was if it wasn't for Black Ops 2 doing this. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just an up and coming uh, esports analyst. But I mean, I wouldn't be. There's no way I'd be playing. Like I've been playing Call of Duty, Call of Duty since uh, World War, Call of Duty World at War. But I mean, I was never. Oh, excuse me, but I'd never be. I don't know if I'd still be playing Call of Duty if it wasn't for Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two is hands down the best Call of Duty ever made. That's not my opinion. That's the truth. No, I'm just kidding. That may be my opinion, but I'd give it Call of, Call of Duty. The biggest jump statistically, you know, you can prove it. So it wouldn't be that hard, but I mean, I think a lot of other people would agree with me. But yeah, simple as that. Thank you, Black Ops 2. Thank you, Nashot. Thank you, Optic Gaming. Thank you, Complexity. Thank you, NV, TK, Strictly Business. Uh, who else? Uh, Phase, especially. What the hell am I thinking? Definitely Phase. Even the sniping teams that put up those montages. I mean, is that this is all coming. This is all happening because you guys got people interested in Call of Duty, and Black Ops Two just took it to a whole other level. And then Nate shot. He, you may be saying, "Wow, you're just an optic fan," but no, Nate shot did so much for this community. I mean, he loves it. I don't know that he, he may love competitive Call of Duty the most. Out of all the pro players out there, I mean, but yeah, I, this video is running 4:30. This is a take like a day to download since my internet connection is not the fastest. So I'm gonna get off here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, which is hex at hex25. It'll be in the description below, and I'll see you guys next video.